Hello ladies and gentlemen, Groovy Guy here. Today we're going to be having a look at Titans Returns Broadside with Blunderbuss. Uh, he's broadside in his aircraft mode, but let's have a quick look at Blunderbuss first off, shall we? Here he is in his robot mode. There isn't much to him. He does have a bit of definition, but again, the definition doesn't really pop because there's no paint on him. He's all just unpainted colored plastic. But he still looks kind of cool, and he transforms into a nice looking battle mode for Broadside's head. Because Broadside had two modes, I think. He had a red face mode and a uh, helmet mode. I get a nice look at. There we go. So that's a uh, nice looking Broadside head mode there. On to. Broadside himself, he is an aircraft carrier, and to that end, he comes with miniature aerial bots that you can paint and put on him. Uh, they attach via several little, uh, similar to what the Titan Masters stand on, the little plastic nub thingamajigs. Uh, it looks pretty cool in aircraft mode, aircraft carrier mode. Sorry. I should say these stickers, they might have peeled a bit when you first get them out of the package, but they can just be easily pressed back on. And they'll usually stay on. Uh, I think if that's going to be coming up a bit, sort of come off a little bit in a few of the corners, but nothing too dramatic. That's just um, the plastic underneath is just raised. It hasn't been rippled or anything. Uh, the hole's been sucked right in there. So there's a quick look at his aircraft carrier mode. Uh, he's got all the fins underneath there that help him stand. So the so it's displayed nice, but I think they'll just be undersea navigation fin things. I'm not a boating guy. Uh, also, just forgot to mention that the uh, little tower here can fold down, fold up, and then fold down uh, if you so wish to have. A Titan Master sitting inside. Ta -da! And also, forgot to mention his little blue gun. Uh, I think this is sort of the standard practice for the guns now. They have a big wide bit so you can fit a Titan Master in there. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, back to the video. So anyway, there's a quick look at aircraft carrier mode. Uh, let's go to his aircraft mode, shall we? So here is his aircraft mode. Um, a few people have said that it doesn't really look like an aircraft and I kind of agree. It's, you know, the best that I guess could have been achieved with the mold uh, without sacrificing too much on the other modes. It is what it is. It looks like it can fly. It looks more like a plane than anything else. Uh, you've got Blunderbuss sitting in the cockpit there. You can, if you so wish, just have him sitting up, sitting up here, but I like to have him in the cockpit. Um, not much else to say about the airplane mode. It looks good. Um, it's drawn some criticism. Uh, you can, if you so wish, there is a mod to pop the or just pop these off. They're not really connected in any permanent way. Pop them off, spin them around, put them back on so they're facing what would probably be a more aerodynamic direction. So there's a quick look at his plane mode. That is quite ordinary. <laughs> uh, we'll be right back with his robot mode. And we're back with Broadside, almost complete. Um, my particular Broadside seems to have a bit of a uh, malfunction in it. The little bits that go on either side of his head, they don't like to stay down. Oh, they stay down now, don't they, when I'm recording. But it seems to only stay down when this part is on an angle. If I straighten this out, they come straight back up. I'm meant to be pushing the button in order to get these to pop up, but they just seem to want to stay up of their own accord. And I'm, I'm okay with that. 
uh, most of the photos, the stock photos, show broadside with these bits up by the side of his head. And I'm okay with that. The only part I'm not okay with is it's a bit tricky to uh, actually get his head back in. Uh, let's give it a try. Oh, there we go. And there is a nice looking broadside with blunderbuss. And I think he looks pretty cool. I do believe this is my first official uh, Hasbro broadside figure. Let's compare him with an unofficial broadside figure, shall we? Here he is with Fans Projects Assaulter, I believe his name was. So, this guy is probably about five times as heavy as that guy because, uh, He's plastic, he is mostly die cast. And you can see what I mean before by uh, different heads. Uh, there's a white head, and now he's a red head. So that's what I meant before by different colored faces. So let's put him aside, shall we? And maybe compare broadside with something a bit more Hasbro-ish, more official, something from the same line, hey? Here he is with Croc. So he is a uh, pretty standard Voyager-sized toy. Getting back into the frame there. There we go. Standard Voyager-sized. I like him. Um, he is going to be repainted into Tidal Wave from Armada. But that's only going to be available in a box set, I believe, with about five different toys. So if you want, if you're interested in the mold, maybe consider picking this guy up. If you're interested in the character broadside, definitely get this guy. Uh, he's a tick in all the boxes. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching my video. This is the second time I've recorded it today. First time the uh, webcam. Mike was the one picking up the audio and that just sounded atrocious. So here's hoping this one works. Uh, thank you very much for watching and for listening to my little rant there. I'm going to have a subscribe link. I'm also going to have a link to my Trypticon sticker guide, which some people seem to have found helpful. And I'm also going to have a link to my other Transformers reviews. So thank you very much for watching and you'll see me next time. Bye now.